There we go. Hi, by the way. I'm playing this game again. Teaching of all pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. I will. Something tells me that's going to be somewhere near that mountain. Oh, in the graveyard. God damn it, I was just there. Okay. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Twilight Princess. Uh, in the last episode. We got into this area and we made it through the blizzard. So now we're just. We are still looking for. Okay, better avoid them. Yeah, if, because if you touch them, well, yeah, that happens. So it's not a good idea. Uh, we are still looking for the Mirror Twilight Fragments. Apparently one of them is around here. In this snow... Uh, snow... Snow Peak? Yeah, there we go. Oh, bug off. Yeah, bats are super strong against the human... Human Link. Because they attack so fast. You really, you don't really get that much time to react. No, get here. Fine, die then. That's fine by me. Hmm. Interesting. That's usually a dungeon door, not. Okay. That's usually a door in the dungeon, not in the... In the opening, just like, like that. Oh god! Now, if I remember right, this is the last warp point in the game. Oh god. Bats and these guys. Where did you come from? There was only two. I only saw two of them come out. Where did the, this other one come out from? Let's get you out so I can deal with these two. There we go. Bye. And there we go, the last warp point in the game, if I remember correctly, which I... Don't... Hey, hearts. The beast, uh, I presume? Is this the piece that everyone's talking about? Whoa, slippery. That is definitely... Oh, that's a huge rake fish you got there. Oh, uh, that doesn't look even cool. Oh, whoa, ho! I heard Rakusan. Oh, just a human. I see humans not often, huh? Why human count to snows? You, on oh, spiritual journey, you look for true self? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you look for mirror in such far away place, but you make good climb, and you're lucky to meet me. I found shiny mirror piece. Say mirror you look for, huh? 
Oh, you come to house and see yourself. I caught fish. I make you have meal at least. My, my house far away. We slide there, huh? Do you like do you like me? Come. Um okay. Away he goes. So yeah, just do like him. Bumpy tree three, get a completely frozen leaf. Jump on it. Or get on. And start snowboarding. Now get you to these controls because you'll be needing them if you want to get a hot piece of heart. And to be honest, the controls aren't even that bad. This is actually kind of fun. Just sliding down. There is a pole here. By the way, Link will automatically jump, so you don't have to worry about that. But you can... And this is the only time in the game you can actually manually jump if you want. Or if you ever get the need to jump, you can manually do it. Now this, this route I'm taking is kind of a side path, you'll be taking it later. But it's a good idea to practice on getting that um, shortcut, because you'll be needing it. And it's getting night time as well. That kinda sucks, because I don't wanna go back to Snow Peak Mountain to, to get the pose. Actually, we are really um, starting on this thing, like only seven minutes in. And there we go! Yeah? What's with this guy? He got a nice place for a beast, man. Yep, believe it or not, there's your next dungeon. If you can even call it dungeon. But there it is. Now before I go there, I want to go do some poe hunting. By the way, use wolf in the snow because for some reason, I guess, well, it's it's kind of obvious. Um, wolves don't sink into the snow as much as humans do. I guess because they but balance the weight on four different points instead uh, unlike humans who, who only have two two points where the weight gets di um, divided on so that's pawn up another bow down Uh, I, and I, I said I was gonna go for the post, but no. Well, we got the uh, warp point there, so I'm gonna go look if if if, the, if it's daytime or not. Actually, let's just go and get the uh, wolf. Let's go get another hidden skill while we're here, because. We're nine minutes into the episode, and it's night time. Fantastic! Again, we are nine nine minutes into the video. I'm not gonna start the dungeon in this episode. Hell no! So I might as well mock around and do some other stuff while I'm waiting, just to get the time passed. Now, there's a wolf here, apparently, somewhere. Oh, over there. Right at the entrance as well. Grrr. Come at me! Give me another skill. We meet again! There are about a few hidden skills left for me to teach you. I've warned you of this before, but if you fail to execute the hidden skill I'm about to teach you, your life may be forfeit. 
Do you still wish to master the skill? Hell yeah. The model draw again. Haven't used it even once. Since I learned it. My sixth skill is the jump strike. One of the basic sword techniques is a jump attack. It flings great damage, but none could call it effective against multiple foes. To perform a jump strike, prepare a jump attack, but focus power in your blade. The shirts, the shirts the blade releases can strike all enemies around you. Alright. Oh boy. So lock on. Keep the A button down and smash. Hmm, impressive. Do not forget the timing or releasing power you just felt. The sixth hidden skill that jump strike has been passed on. You learned the sixth hidden skill the jump strike. There is but one hidden skill left for me to pass on to you. You have already indulged with the strength regard of the hero. Do you not already feel the courage granted by the strength as it guides you step by step towards your true enemy? Believe in your strength, continue to push forward unflinchingly and without straying from your path. May we meet again. One more hidden skill. And then we got all of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here and go back to Snow Peak Mountain to look for those two poles we can still collect. Oh god, the bats are near me. All the enemies in the world. God damn you, game! Why must you make all the enemies in the world attack me while I try to get this one bow here? Right, now there's another one here somewhere. So time to jump down and kind of try to figure out where it is. Oh god damn the snowstorm. Ah oh, there he is. But is this a safe way to go there? There it is. Ooh I see a big hole. What could be down the big hole? He didn't even hit me. How did I get hit there? So that is all the puzzles we can collect for the time being. There is still one Poe in this area. Uh, there's nothing we can do here. Might as well get out of here straight away. As I was saying, there is still one more Poe in this area, but we cannot collect that. Because we do not have the item we need. So yeah. That is all for this episode. I'm gonna see you... At the entrance of the mansion. In the next episode. Oh, I cannot write this while I'm human. Actually, no, what, since I'm just going down here, I might as well show the shortcut. By the way, be careful with the jumping, because jumping controls are kind of awkward. That's one thing I don't like about this part, is the jumping controls. Or actually, after the jump. Because when you jump and then move the 
try to turn yourself, this can happen. You just fling off into the possible, the most awkward place you can think about, which for me is the trees. Now, shortcut time. What you do, you, you just jump there and then you write this area. There's a red ruby, so make sure you try to pick that up. Which I can't. Can't. Yeah, I couldn't do that. And then you just ride along with this and you cut across a huge m a lot of time there. If you didn't fall off like I did. I love this music. Oh, I like it. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And in the next time, believe it or not, we are going to the next dungeon, which is apparently a mansion. But it's the next dungeon nevertheless.